Hi, this is Emily Miller with Charlotte's Best Nanny Agency, and today I want to talk to you about professional nanny references. I'm going to give you a few tips when you are organizing your references and applying for jobs to be able to make sure that you give the most professional nanny references as possible so you can land your next nanny position. So my first tip is to always make sure that you organize all your references before you apply with an agency or a family. Notify your references that people may be calling them. We never want to catch a reference off guard and then not know that you're looking for a job and us call them and then not be able to provide a great reference for you or call us back in a timely manner because they did not understand that you were looking for a job and needed then to provide a reference. My second tip in providing great professional nanny references is to always get a nanny reference letter from your family after you in your tenure with their family um, just so we have a great record of your experience in writing with that family and if they would recommend you or not. We always call and verify reference letters, but it is awesome to get a reference letter so you can give that to an agency or a hiring family up front and they have that information first thing when they're going to consider you as a candidate. So I would highly recommend that you have a reference letter from each family that you worked with. My third nanny reference tip is to make sure that you are providing us professional references. So professional references that we look for are people that you have nannied or babysat for, you've taught them in school, or you've worked with them in a childcare setting. So that could be a fellow nanny, that could be a fellow daycare teacher or elementary school teacher or whatever setting you worked in, a coworker, a manager. Um, we prefer families that you nannied for. That's our first and um, top preference to get someone to talk to us about your experience as a nanny or a babysitter. But also other managers in childcare settings and coworkers will work just fine. What we do not want to see when you're providing us references is a member of your family, a boyfriend, girlfriend, your best friend, because all of those people are going to be your biggest cheerleaders no matter what, and they have not managed or worked with you in a childcare setting. So we really want to see three professional nanny references from you when you apply. If you do not have three references as a nanny or babysitter, say you have one family that you were with for 10 years or you only have two families you've worked for, that's fine. Just provide the third reference or the second and third reference as good character references for you. So this could be someone that you've volunteered with, someone that has observed you as a student, maybe a teacher or someone in the community that um, has seen you with children or can vouch for your character overall. That is what we're looking for when we look for professional nanny references and we want to make sure that you are putting your best foot forward when providing these references and always providing us the best professional child care references possible. I hope these tips have helped you prepare to provide references in your next nanny search and I wish you all the best in finding the best nanny position for you. Have a great day.